Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with another four-box random team break of 2018 Panini Contenders Football. Are you ready for some football? Now, this break, break 14, includes an SB53 spot. And once break 15 sells out, then all three of those breaks, 13, 14, and 15, will be randomized for a uh, mixer spot, which is pretty crazy. All the details are in the... Um, Item description for each break right there. Okay. Big thanks to these folks. These fine people joining this break on a Saturday. Appreciate it. All teams are in. Let's roll the dice. And let's randomize each list two and a three. Five times. Names first. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five times, we've got Nick Kasberg all the way down to Brian Crouch. Three, two and a three, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five times, we've got the Niners down to the Broncos. All right, so Nick, you have the Niners. Joe Foster with the Texans. Vipple with the Chargers. Chris Parent with the Jags. Sean, you have the Lions. Steve Locke with the Bucks. Patrick Kay with the Cowboys. Richard, you got the Browns. Tom Richard with the Jets. Jeremy, you got the Saints. Eric Wyant with the Chiefs. Anthony with the Seahawks. Tony with the Dolphins. Darren, you got my Raiders. Moody with the Vikings. Darren, you got the Eagles as well. Thomas Bove with the Bills. Dee Porter with the Redskins, Jacob with the Colts, Edwin with the Packers, Tony with the New York Football Giants, Enmark, Cardinals, Nicholas Casper, you got the uh, Steelers, Chad B, Falcons, Alex with the Rams, Sean, Last Bot Mojo, Panthers, Tony with the Titans, Alex with the Bengals, Michael with the Ravens, Vipple with the Pats, Josh with the Bears, and Brian with the Broncos. Excuse me. All right, feel free to trade if you would like. Brian Crouch is thinking maybe Broncos, Colts. And I grab a random stack from the back. Remember the Wolverine scratches I made on the boxes so you know they're from the same case. Give it a few more moments for potential trades. Eagles for trade, maybe. Texans for anybody. Otherwise, we'll, we'll rock and roll. Coming up after this will be uh, the mini helmet break. After that will be uh, another one box break of Pantheon. Schedule is in the chat right there. And around, possibly a little bit earlier than that, but around that time you see in the chat there, We'll be ready for the next break around that point. I already see a few more orders coming in, so it looks like people still want to keep going, keep breaking tonight. Remember, folks, we break seven nights a week, so anything we don't get to by the end of the night tonight, around 11 o'clock Pacific, we will, uh, we will break it tomorrow. That's right, Richard. You got, the, you got the Cleveland Browns. I've heard of those guys. D. Porter saying, Brian, maybe skins and eagles for Broncos? Two for one? Darren, is that what you're offering? Otherwise, we will just go. Some good trade chatter here, though. Seahawks are also uh, up for trades, is Anthony. Brian would do the two for one. All right.
All right, so, Darren, you now have the Broncos in a trade. And Brian, you got the Eagles and the Redskins. In a two-for-one deal. Uh, Eric Wyant, who's been burned on a trade, says Tra trading is the devil. I know. People still do it, Eric. People still do it. TWC trade window closed <laughs> before more potential trading mistakes are made. It's a fair trade, but I always, I always feel like I get, I get nervous about it. I don't think if I were in group breaks, I'd be very nervous about it. All right, here's the final printout on a Saturday. Thank you, everybody, for hanging with me on a Saturday. This is break number 14, third of a case. There's the final printout. See the T's next to the teams so you know that they were part of a trade. <laughs> nice, Eric. Let that, be, let that be a constant reminder to you. Do you have Twitter, Eric? If you, if you tweet that to us, I'll, I'll, I'll retweet that. No, it's good. At Jaspi's Breaks is our Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. All right, box one. This break doesn't take very long. Just uh, 20, 30 minutes or so. And then we'll be ready for the next break after that. Let me drop the schedule back in the chat. No, that's Brian's name in, in the chat. We might have to, yeah, thanks, Eric. We're going to have to send that public service announcement to uh, to everybody. Yeah, no rush. No rush. No rush, Eric Wyant. Not urgent. All right, so there's the schedule in the chat right there, folks. Number one. Is anyone, when's the Pro Bowl? Is that tomorrow? Is anyone actually watching the Pro Bowl tomorrow? Even if I put money on the Pro Bowl, I don't think I'd actually watch the whole thing. <laughs> All right, our first autograph is Carlton Davis for the Buccaneers. And that'll be for Steve Locke. So, this is a SB fifty three break. We got to randomize a square to somebody. Speaking of this, speaking of bowls, superb owls for my Raiders. Colton Miller playoff ticket autograph eighty four out of ninety nine playoffs. Yeah, Darren Porter saying, quote, I can't wait to watch the Pro Bowl. Said no one ever. Yeah, I think from, uh, there's Neam Hines, 23 out of 42. A ticket stub edge autograph for the Colts. That'll be for Jacob. Yeah, I, I think even from childhood, I don't think I've ever had any interest in watching the Pro Bowl. I guess if the Pro Bowl was like, they may have, with the new stadium in LA, they may have a Pro Bowl here. They may, they may put one here. If I went to go watch it live, maybe I'd do that. I think there's a lot of fun, like, fan fest type stuff there. And we'll top load these before they go out. That goes to the Chiefs. Left, right randomizer there. Yeah, the skills challenge. We, I kind of had, had that in the background on the TV yesterday. That seems pretty good. I think if I actually went to the Pro Bowl, I think that would be fun. Nice Darius Leonard 
for Jacob and the Colts. TJ saying, in 43 years, he doesn't ever, ever remember watching a Pro Bowl. I think there's some points right here. So that'll be randomized to one person in the break. So winner take all on the points. Name on top will get this spot right here. And the second name will get the 250 points. Just FYI. All right, Auden Tate, rookie autograph. Right, just like any other All-Star game, it's everything but the game that's actually fun. Um, I think two or three years ago, we were at the... Yeah, actually, MLB All-Star game isn't that bad. Um, I actually do watch that. <laughs> um, but uh, I remember a couple of years ago, we were at the, the NHL All-Star game was, uh, was in L.A., and so the fan fest there was actually pretty fun. All right, second box. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, of all the all-star games, I think... I mean, they're all kind of bad, but MLB, I don't mind as much. NBA, I don't watch. And the NHL actually kind of has an interesting... Don't they have like a, a tournament-style format? No? Don't they have like... Isn't it like three-on-three? Three and like it's a tournament? Or am I making that up in my head? That's actually not too bad, I guess. Pro Bowl, I definitely... I'll maybe catch like five minutes of it as I am cleaning my room or something like that. I'll have it in the background, but even then, I may I may choose a Sunday afternoon TNT movie or a TBS movie. Maybe maybe even a Hallmark movie. Might switch to that. Maybe even a Lifetime movie. But before, remember how the Pro Bowl used to be the week after the Super Bowl? Now it's in that in, in that middle week before the Super Bowl. Since that happened, I actually do watch like a few minutes of the Pro Bowl. Before then, never. It would be near zero minutes. But now I actually watch a few minutes. So I guess, I guess that's one thing the NFL has gotten right. There's Tony Gonzalez, legendary contenders. And there's Chris Warren the third rookie ticket autograph for my Raiders. So a couple Raiders for D Porter. A little Raider Joe Mojo there. And Luke Falk. Dolphins. I think they stopped doing that a like a like starting last year, TJ, didn't they? The home field advantage thing. I don't know, I'm a big baseball fan, so I still end up watching it more of that than any of the other All Star games. Uh, there's Jake Kumro to 49. You know what they should have in the All Star game? Do they have this? We need like a, it's like rock and jock basketball. You guys remember that back in the day? Where there would be like a a four point or like a five point spot, like 10 feet out from the three point line. That one, that Jake goes to the Packers, of course. Edwin went down. There you go, Edwin, on the board. Then you start doing that. Let's get some rock and jock elements in there. There's Chase Edmonds to 90, you know. 
I want to see Steph Curry take like a 40 footer. There's Chase Edmonds, Enmart with the Cardinals. I think he was called Rock. Chad's like, I loved Rock and Jock. I think that's what it was called, right? Rock and Jock basketball. I don't even know. I don't remember what context it was. Like, why did they do it? Was it just like an exhibition they did once a year or something like that? Was it for charity? I don't know what it was for, but I know that it existed at some point. There's Braxton Berrios for the Pats. Patriots? <laughs> Patriots. Pats. Patriots. Pat Patriots. And Mark Walton. On card auto for the Bengals. That'll be for Alex Carmichael. The Patriots auto goes to Vipple in the Pats. It's one per box on card. Was it an NBA All Star Weekend thing, Chad? I think that's what that's what the I guess the draft format is okay. Did they televise that already? I think I guess the no, they don't they don't do that until maybe closer to the All Star game. Anyhow, I feel like they should just do that for the NBA All Star game. Otherwise, it's just kind of ridiculous, right? It's like one fifty to one forty eight or something like that. So. I don't know, might as well add, add some fun by adding like a, a five-pointer spot, a second basket like 20 feet up or something. So, uh, Justin, what's going on? If you get a hit for your team, do you include the base card of that team as well? I understand it's not worth the base card alone. Sorry, old uh, old collector just starting back up. Well, listen, Justin, we, were, we, we are all old collectors that at some point or another have started back up in the hobby. So welcome back. Um... Generally, in breaks like this, where there's a lot of like, where there's a lot of commons, we won't ship the the veteran commons. But all inserts and like rookie cards, anything, all inserts and RCs will ship, along with obviously autographs and relics. So generally speaking, we'll, we'll always uh, we'll always mention it in the item description, in in each of our products. So always be sure to look out for that. But generally speaking. In a product like this with a lot of packs and a lot of cards per box, the veteran base, veteran commons will not ship. Everything else will. Inserts, parallels, blah, 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 blah. Obviously, for like higher end breaks or like one pack per box kind of breaks with like the, with nicer base cards or there's only two or three per box, obviously, we'll be shipping those. Another Packer, Jair Alexander for Edwin in Green Bay. Hans, Hans Mueller. Is here, hey, hey guys, he says. I'm here for peace and positivity. We try, we try to preach peace and positivity in a dry humor, semi-sarcastic sort of way. But he is 72 years young and he's excited to watch an, a one of one to be unveiled. Well, stick around, Hans. Keep watching the show because at some point we'll we'll get that. Maybe it's right there, that redemption right there. Who knows? More Raiders. There's Marcus Ba for uh, D Porter and the Raiders. I don't think. Pretty sure he has no relation to Sammy. Maybe he does. I don't know. I can't assume. All right, there's Detrez Newsom, Ozzy's kid. I don't think so, right? No, probably not. It would say on the back. It doesn't say anything. That goes to the Ticket Stub Edge. Auto goes to Vipple and the Chargers. Any guesses on that redemption? D Porter guessing Cortland Sutton. It's a good guess. There is Kurt Ben Kurt for the Dirty Birds. Chad B with the Dirty Birds. Mm. 
We got Earl Thomas the third to 175 playoff ticket. Yeah, uh, you know, Chad, I'm certain that we've only I've only seen one or two on like uh, I think they're on card autographs though. I think I've only seen one or two Calvin Ridleys in all of these uh, in all these contenders boxes that we've done over the last few weeks. All right, the redemption is Kike Kuti rookie ticket variation RPS. Nice. That goes to Joe Foster and the Texans. That's a little, uh, wasn't he trying to, Joe, weren't you trying to trade these guys? A little tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. All right. You'd be embarrassed to have what, Hans? Not a Texans fan. Kike Uti had a pretty solid season. His stock is rising. Last box. We've got another four in the store, so check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. And then once we do that, we can randomize everybody from breaks 13, 14, and 15 and randomize all those names for one of those $500 mixer spots. That's on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And in this break right here will definitely be the SB53 square that you can get. All part of our Superb Owl promos. A week of Superb Owls. Ah, I see. He's one of those. All right. All right. Last box. Good luck. We've got Chase Litton. And playoff ticket autograph at a 99. Jordan Lasley. So the, for the Chiefs, Eric Wyant will get the Chiefs. Chase Litton and Jordan Lasley will go to the Purple Birds. Michael Nepp with that. And Denzel Ward. Possible defensive rookie of the year going to Richard and the Cleveland Browns. Another redemption. Any guesses here? There's Kike Kuti to 75. And we've got Armani Watts rookie ticket autograph for the Chiefs. Eric Wyant with that one. Uh, Claw, this was the second third of the case, so the final third is break 15, which I think someone said had filled. Did I miss that? Uh, no, Sean, we don't have any more impeccable football coming up. There's on Johnson for the Lions, rookie ticket RPS. 
That'll be for Detroit. That goes to Sean Cole. Yeah, Sean, when we bring back some of those old products like that, we only get like a case or two at a time. So whenever you see something like that on jazbeescasebreaks.com, jump on it before it's gone because it most likely won't be coming back anytime soon. All right. We're going to do a left-right randomizer for these. We got SB53, and the second name will get the 250. Al, what's going on? Anya Haseo? Um, no, no cracked ice in this case yet. All right, left right randomizer right here, and everyone has a shot at the SB53 square. The SB53 square and the second name on the randomizer will get the points. All right, so let's roll the dice and randomize each of those lists six times four and a two. One, two, three, four. Five and six. Four and a two, six times. After six, left side will get him. Once again, six times for these names right here. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, there it is. Chad B with the points. And Thomas, congrats to you. You get a superb owl square. From Contenders, NFL, number 14. And you still have a shot at a mixer spot as well. So there you have it, folks. All the details of these promos, the mixer, the squares, all the details are on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So check it out. And we'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.